So in this next section, we're gonna be talking about the S3 list buckets API. And again, this isn't really that special. It's just gonna list all the buckets that are owned by the person that's making the request. Um, so whatever account is associated with that person, uh, it's gonna be what's returned back to you. Uh, so the documentation here isn't very interesting, it just kind of goes through um, some of the inputs and the outputs, but let's look at how this looks like from the Node.js perspective, if you're trying to call this using the AWS SDK. Uh, and as you can tell here, uh, it's pretty pretty simple. So we just using the S3 um, client, we call the list buckets method. Uh, doesn't take any inputs. It, the only input really is the access key ID, which indicates uh, what user you are. But that happens through the uh, instantiation of the S3 client object. So if you scroll up, you'll be able to find that in this uh, file or this page rather. Uh, so you can see this method takes a callback function with an error and data input. Uh, and if it's an error, we just log it out here, else we just log the data itself. Uh, so the response will just be a list containing the buckets that are associated with this user. Uh, so hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.